to Sairam friends, this is Venkat for Stasa.com. I am already starting to sweat, <laughs> but it is good so that I will finish the video early. Okay, guys, see, this is what I want to share with you, especially people in North India. I am not blaming you, but remember one thing. Uh, I am coining this word <laughs> called spiritual trap. Don't fall for anyone uh, whom you think is serving Sai Baba, whom you think is... Uh, serving any gods or goddess um i'm not saying don't uh, respect me or don't respect anyone who is serving god or serving sai baba or serving in the temple of course you can respect but remember one thing i will tell you so i i have no right to speak about others i will tell about myself i have my own uh, drawbacks i also get angry uh, everyone has their uh, you know i have my own desires so does that just because i'm serving sayoba am i should i say portray myself as a good human being no not at all maybe you are a good devotee than me you are a good human being than me but i have observed one mostly from north north india when i say above hyderabad if you see most of the people they have guru bhakti you know they appreciate i appreciate i also like it because in the last 20 years journey most of the sai friends i've got are from north india if you know yabo i know i have some friends from uh, hyderabad some from some from um, mumbai some from delhi you know like that, like that odisha something like that madhya pradesh so why do they trust me is because uh, they wanted to show their respect on someone who is serving sai same way you have to understand they also have showed respect on someone who is serving any gods or goddess you know i am speaking about hindu gods or goddess i appreciate it but remember one thing including me i am saying i am blaming myself you know i have no right to say that others are wrong i can tell you i vouch and give you um anyone who is serving sai or gods for that matter they are also um, not perfect i know i am not perfect for sure so remember one thing don't give too much respect to me you know i cannot say don't give too much respect to others uh the sense i appreciate the trust you have why am when at this at what point i making this video there was this lots of you know viral video like you no know, 10 year old boy singing and dancing on radhe krishna something and everyone follows him and now everyone are saying that he is fraud whatever it is others i am not using his name at all whatever it is it is you have to understand what is the problem with you people are devoted to god and goddess i am devoted to sai and why i am making videos about sai it is my fate you should say only you cannot you can say that i am serving sai baba but other side maybe i am indebted to sai baba and i am making it maybe my words might inspire to inspire you to be more devoted to sai baba or it might give you some life solution but am i am i changing your life or transforming your life i am not sure about it i don't think so You you come to me saying that uh, I need a job. Then I am saying go chant Sai 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 or Om Sai Ram or Ram Sai Sai Charita. Is it directly giving you any solution? Honestly, not at all. Correct. I am doing my you know my full small dot. That is as simple as that. If you have a relationship problem, I am saying you some healing words. You know all these twenty years and Sai devotees what is reply mail, and I don't reply often. Also sometimes I try to say some healing healing words. That is it. But do I deserve all this respect? i am happy for this trust you have kept on me and the respect you give me but remember in kali yuga you know we are living in a time when um even those who are devoted to sai or devoted to god they are not good in, you know including i am not good right you know just because i speak about sai baba just because i am uh, devoted to god let's let's imagine i am taking this car and going out someone is uh, coming near as if he is going to scratch my scar you know i am immediately getting angry you know <laughs> and which i want to control my father when he was alive he used to sit near me and say venkat do don't don't shout at others don't don't uh, lift your hand like this they might come to fight with you now who is that to tell that to me hmm? who is that to tell that to me now my father is in this photograph now that's it and sometimes when i get angry i try to control myself and uh, remember my father's words that's it so what i am trying to tell you is that north indians is a very humble expression of uh, love on you people i am telling this 
you can't respect people who serve so i i will i will tell you one example one lady is coming somewhere from delhi and she is coming to sirdi i don't live in sirdi first of all okay i live in coimbatore okay but this incident uh, happened when i was in sirdi she is telling uh, do you know this these uh, men who are serving in dwarka mai and the priest was standing there he said no no they will come later something like that um one side i appreciate she wants to meet couple of guys who are serving in dwarka mai in sirdi other side what i don't like is that when she is coming to dwarka mai she see dwarka mai you know why do you want to see them correct nobody should be a wall between you and sababa for example i say something i say that light 108 lamp is it practically possible for everyone to light 180 lamp, 108 lamps in home and do it safely few, few people can do it uh those who cannot do it can light two lamps those who cannot do doesn't have to light any lamps correct so uh, what i wanted to tell from um, from the bottom of my heart is uh, be very very careful about whom you trust including those who are sai devotees and including those who are serving sai and including so, uh, those who are serving other gods and goddesses i will once again reiterate this you are the one who can take you towards sai you are the one who can take you towards gods and goddesses you don't need any me or anyone else for that okay so nobody is special here that is what i want to convey uh um, thank you so much for your love and trust on me i will give you a very simple example mm uh, it it happened in 2009 i was in mumbai there were many used to mail me or something like that those days nowadays i cannot do it i don't have time because my mother is very old those days i used to take do photography of sai baba and uh, print it and keep it whenever some devotees may write to me I, sometimes they share their address i will courier it there is this um, courier private courier company where i used to walk and and uh, post it that the photos of baba and once that courier uh, that the guy who you know that writes everything in the courier office he asks me um what are you sending i say then i open that uh, envelope and i told him no i am sending i i, I serve sai baba and i am sending these photographs of sai baba to devotees i'm sweating <laughs> and from that day he gave me some 10 rupees 20 rupees discount in the courier you know because he wants to appreciate you know such a kind of people in north india when you say that uh, i'm not saying people in south india i will give you a very simple example i live in coimbatore very few people have coimbatore have emailed me or messaged me very few and i live here for 20 years and very few from from tamil nadu but if you see i know many people from north india so which means i'm thanking you for the trust but i also have to openly say that i am also like you i am as ardent as like you you might be a better devotee than me just that i am expressing my journey with sai op sai and you may you are not expressing that's it so don't fall for any kind of spiritual trap your parents your grandparents they have taken you in a path of uh, spirituality and you could adopt that that is more than enough if you have to share your experiences you can also message me um, from the link in the description thank you so much and sai ram